All right, whiskey people, welcome back. Thanks for watching. This is going to be my long-term review of the uh, Elijah Craig, the rye. Yeah, so let me go ahead and just get a sip to refresh my memory. Like I said before, if you get a chance, this was the rye Mageddon bottle. Me, Jones, and man, we each had one of these. We tried this live. We gave you our first impression, so this will be the long-term review. Okay, so Elijah Craig rye, small batch, 94 proof. So this is the line extension in case you didn't know. Immediately what I get on here is pepper, more spice. And it's interesting because if I'm comparing this to the uh, Knob Creek rye, which I got sitting right, right here, I would say that although the Knob Creek rye is at a higher proof, that being 100, this being 94, this Elijah Craig rye is actually more spicy than the Knob Creek, which is interesting. This is going for around, I think, 30. This is, you know, probably the intro price. They're going to raise it later, but just telling you what to expect in this, you're going to get a lot more spice overall. So would I buy it again? I think yes, because at $30, it's a value. I mean, Elijah Craig, Heaven Hill is known for being like one of the best overall brands for value. Not meaning, you know, low quality or budget, but just like you, you get a lot for your money here. So I think for $30, I mean, you got to give it a shot. I like it. I like it neat. I remember uh, during the live stream, we had it neat. We had it on the rocks. Um, I still agree that I think it's not as good on the rocks. Man said he actually preferred it on the rocks, but neat, it's fine. And I remember... Uh, you just can't go wrong on this. So who is this for? I might give this to uh, a newbie and for a veteran, right? So I would give this to somebody who has, who's kind of new into the game, right? Let's say they've already had the regular Elijah Craig. I would probably say, hey, you know what? Now that you're already in that, you know, Heaven Hill game, why don't you try this ride? Because it's at the same proof. I think it's it's a good entry point to get them crossed over into the rise. And it's not going to break you. At $30, it's not going to break you. So now as far as the vets are concerned, I think it's a win there also because it's new. It's a line extension, at least at the time of this video. So you probably never had it before. Uh, you get definitely a different profile than some of the other rides. Like this profile, although it's a rye, is different from the Knob Creek. The Knob Creek rye is kind of more kind of like buttery, kind of creamy. You get more corn forward. But when you when you go to this right here, you definitely are getting like that pepper. You're getting that rye for sure. So if you like more rye heavy stuff, you'll probably like this. By rye heavy, think like um, uh, Four Roses or like Wild Turkey. This is this is for that person. So yeah, overall, I liked it. I think it was good, good value, good taste. You know, 30 bucks, you can't go wrong. Try it out, let me know what you think. And um, I'll be back next week for another honest review. Again, no funny business here. All these bottles I get, I'm getting them on my own. Nobody's sending me anything. These are unbiased. Thanks for watching. I'm going to see you next time.